Hey guys, it's Cut Clones Brex. I'm coming back. I'm here. I'm in the clone cave. It's what I like to call my little setup here. And I'm really excited to get back into the channel. I've got uh, the old Lego stuff over there. And over here, I have an exciting new setup that I'm not really going to share about yet. But maybe in a little bit. Uh, but so, yeah. Uh, today I thought I would try to do something a bit different. I'm going to be doing a painting challenge for a miniature. And this is something I haven't done on the channel before. This is a topic I've never done on the channel before, but I'm really excited. Uh, so today I'm going to try to approach using 10th edition Leviathan-ish style termagants. But I'm going to be painting them up in the Hive Fleet Kraken color scheme. So, I'm really hoping I can get something that looks at least okay. Um, hopefully better than okay, but you can see I'm just starting with one of these models here. And I'm excited to see where this goes. Now, with this paint job, what I'm trying to do is undercoat the model. And for this, I'm using thinned wraith bone and applying it carefully and neatly to the entire model. All right, coat number one is done. I'm pretty happy with it. It's obviously gonna be a bit more of a transparent layer cause I never thinned it. So you can see right now it looks okay. I mean, the color is down on the model, but it's gonna take more than one pass. So I'll see ya after that. All right, for the second coat, I wanted things to be mostly opaque, but I'm still thinning down my paint. All right, guys, second coat down. Things are looking good. Mostly opaque this time, so um, I saved, you know, I, I wasn't as careful, right, about making sure that everything was coated as nicely, but I still tried to be, be make sure that it was coated nicely, but not too great, you know? It doesn't have to be as good as the first coat, um, but the third coat you always have to make sure on. That's how I do it. Like, first coat doesn't have to be perfect, but should be everywhere but doesn't have to cover well second coat has to cover well but doesn't have to be ev necessarily everywhere and then third coat has to be everywhere and make sure that all the cover all the coverage is good so there we go second coat down one coat left to go on the undercoat Alrighty. so i realized as i'm looking up on the shelf here there's a little something that i want to look at so I think it's time for a tank break. Dooby 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 tank break. Tank break. Now for the third coat, I put in a bit more pigment and it went on really well. All right, guys. So coat number three is down. It's looking good, and I think I'm ready to move on to just doing some more minor stuff with the skin. I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do, try a black wash. It's just a little homemade black wash, you know, one part, one part paint to seven, and yeah, I think seven parts water to one part paint. Um, and I'll use it as a bit of a wash just to get those recesses and create some contrast on the skin. And then for the gun, I'm probably, or sorry, flesh borer, I'm probably going to go with a little bit of Magos purple and maybe mixed with like 50-50 with Bugman's glow. And that's how I'm going to paint the gun. And I might do a little bit of Magos purple in some of these recessed areas on the skin. So, yeah. All right. Now, th while I was applying the black wash, I figured that the Magos purple really wouldn't work. I tried it out on some of those areas and it didn't work. But on the 50-50 Magos Purple and Bugman's Glow elements, it acted like a really nice contrast on the Flesh Borer. It looked really nice. Um, so I don't think I'm going to do a second coat on that because I wanted the undercoat to show through a tiny bit to give a little bit of depth and variation. Right. So it is 
red time now. The red carapace on this high fleet is pretty distinct. That's why I chose to do this high fleet for this model. And I'm excited to paint it. Now, to get some contrast on it, too, I'm going to be using two and a half-ish parts of Mephiston Red to... Yes, here's the one. Two-ish, maybe two and a half parts of contrast medium. Somewhere in between. So just a tad more Mephiston Red than there is contrast medium. So just about a 50-50 mix. Now, that may change depending on how it looks. I haven't tried this yet. But that's what I'm going to go with, and we'll see what it looks like. Now, here, I, as I was painting the red carapace, I got some red in areas where I didn't necessarily want it. So I came back in with some touch-ups of Wraithbone, and those touch-ups I disguised as highlights. Now, do forgive me, I didn't show you painting the head carapace, but I assure you I did it in all the same way. Okay, Whew. almost done. Now it's just going to be time for the claws. And the claws are going to be Abaddon Black. Um, let me get it here. Yep, Abaddon Black. Sorry, oh, wrong pot. Yep, Abaddon Black. And then what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to do tiny little streaks of Thunderhawk Blue which is a layer paint. By the way, all the paints I've been using here are from Citadel. I like them because I like how it controls how much paint I put on my brush with a little scoop at the bottom, and they just generally seem to be high-quality paints, whereas I much less prefer these Tamiya paints. I don't know. I guess you get a little more, and they're a little bit cheaper, but other than that, these paints... I find are a little runny and they smell pretty awful and they don't eh, something about them I just I don't like them compared to these nice Citadel paints uh, anyway far too much of a tangent uh, back to work now, I used the Thunderhawk blue to sort of scratch a little bit to create that a uh, cool sort of talony effect. I also used uh, Korax White to dot the teeth and Nagaroth Knight to dot the eyes. I also did a little bit of blending in some areas using the um, Thunderhawk and blue. And now, without further ado, the reveal. Alright, it's done. I love it. It's a it's a termagon. I'm actually happy to put on my shelf as a completed model. Um, it certainly doesn't fit with the rest of my Leviathan termagons, but it's a pretty nice model nonetheless. Uh, I'll put it up there with oh, up over there with my here up over there with my second hand chaos army, and uh, yeah, I might do some other uh, termagon uh, tyranid schemes. In the near future, maybe some Space Marine stuff, who knows? Uh, maybe some other stuff, some of the more usual stuff on the channel, gaming videos. I don't know yet. Maybe this was just a one-off thing. Who really knows? But on that note, remember, kids, always thin your paints, never lick your paintbrushes. Click clones out.